practice do you take of the character to your real life? What scenes do you take into your real life? I think some of the ones that I took was some of the comedy. I think I I look at um, how like light and and the levity she can bring to a really serious situation. Yeah. I also think the heart. Like I look at at how she is very present with Reacher and she doesn't push him to be anything. She has no motive with him. She actually doesn't want anything from him at all. And I think it's a beautiful characteristic to bring into a relationship is really meeting somebody where they are and being able to just hold space for that and be like, this is either right or this is wrong for me. But either way, you just get to see things as they are. Yeah, I think I think similar for me, probably the humor um, and, and really kind of uh, uh, teasing one another like um, Reacher and, and O'Donnell seem to do is they just constantly are, are taking the piss out of one another and it's it's a lot of fun. Um, and I do that in my, my own life anyway. With your brothers too. Yeah, with my brothers, exactly. You're saying that, like in his real life, your brothers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and Reacher and, and O'Donnell are, have that brotherly yep. connection. So that was something that I could really hook into and go, okay, cool, I understand this. Mm -hmm. I think for me, um, you know, we Neely is quite mysterious in a way, but she also has this really cute, quirky, endearing quality about her. And I think uh, it, for me personally, it takes a little bit um, for people to get to know me, for me to let people in in my personal life. And but but once they're in, I I can let myself go, and I can be warm, and I can be vulnerable. And so for me, that is kind of the same thing that I take from Neely, you know, she has a hard exterior, but a really soft, mushy interior. <laughs> and that's sort of how I also see myself a lot. Um, so that is a way to go about it, yeah.